In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use AI no code to manage your sales team, get more sales, and make your sales team more efficient. I'm drawing on my experience managing dozens of sales reps and building a multi-million dollar sales team for my own business, and I hope that you find this useful. Let's jump into it. So the first thing that I did is, in order to manage my sales team correctly, I need to create a bunch of formulas to be able to track the different leads that are coming through my system. Now, for my company, I use Calendly, Zapier, Stripe, a number of different systems for my sales tech stack. But with this, I wanted to go into how I actually track and score different leads. So with this system, I have all of the leads going into this sheet. And this sheet is our Twiz marketing follow-up sheet. This is a new version of it since we started tracking it in July. I've hidden the names of the different companies just for um, you know keeping it uh, confidential. but. Uh, in terms of just our business, this is the name of the different events, the people on our team, the status of the different meetings, whether it's an active prospect or not, uh, and also the date it was booked, uh, and the lead score. So we score the different leads based on a number of different criteria. Typically, it's urgency and budget. Now, if you want to know how to score leads, you can use this kind of scoring system, which scores urgency from 1 to 5 and budget from 1 to 5. And essentially, if they don't show up to a meeting, it's marked as a 0. If they get a five on urgency and a five on budget, then that lead is a 10. Most leads come out to be between a six to a seven, sometimes an eight, um, but rarely ever are they tens. So that's how we're tracking them inside the sheet. And so I have my sales reps go and score them. And the reason I'm telling you this is because the formulas that I built with ChatGPT using AI and no code have made it really easy to count the amount of qualified leads that I have and attribute them to different kinds of people. So Every time a meeting is booked, they come in here and they score this lead. Then it goes into this analysis tab and it tabulates different kinds of meetings and the amount of market qualified leads and sales qualified leads. The difference is that a market qualified lead is a lead that actually has a um, interest but may not be super qualified, whereas a sales qualified lead is somebody that scores above a five out of a 10. So when you look here, you can see, I can click here, Right, and I can see the different kinds of meetings and it has part of the formula which is equal to or above a five. Now, to be completely honest, this is not something that I was able to create before. I wasn't very good at creating these kind of formulas in Google Sheets. And so I went into Google Sheets and I popped in formulas similar to this one. Now, I couldn't remember the exact prompt that I used, so I actually asked ChatGPT to reverse engineer the prompt from the formula it created for me uh, back a few months ago and actually create new prompts that can be used for tracking these different developments and the actual prompting as well as the instructions uh, for this. Now, I think it's safe to say that this is one very important element when it comes to using AI, being able to take speech, talking directly into ChatGPT and saying, I want a formula for my Google Sheet that does this exact thing. And then once that is created, then going and actually applying it to a Google Sheet this has definitely expanded my mind when it comes to AI because I have actually got more capabilities with my Google Sheets than I was previously, which allows me to be more efficient and productive with my sales team and do things that I otherwise would not have been able to do. But again, this is broken down in title, prompt, and instructions. So you would take the entire prompt here and you would actually paste it into ChatGPT. And when you do that, it would produce this formula here, right? So the prompt gives context to ChatGPT and says, this is what I'm looking to build. I have these questions. I want to do this thing. And you can then sub out some of these variables. So let's say instead of the tab being called October, let's say it's called September for you. Let's say it's not called the lead sheet, but the uh, opportunity sheet. You can sub some of these out. And I'm going to be putting these prompts in the description so you can use them right away for your sales team if you'd like. But you follow the instructions, which you then give to ChatGPT, and it produces this formula here. Now, again, once you have that formula, you can go into the cell you want to put it into, and you can paste that formula. It will then tabulate all of the meetings which meet this criteria inside the lead sheet. Now, to give a little bit more specificity as to which one of these leads and what, what each one's called and why it's, it has different purposes, these are basically all different calendar events inside my Calendly account. And so some of them are, um, you know, uh, meetings to talk about uh, you know direct sales opportunities some of them are just free opportunities that we give to different kinds of people but they're all market qualified leads by our own uh, subjective qualifications so what we do then is then 
We basically run it through, we put that prompt in, we put the formula in. And then if I want to track sales qualified leads, which is this next formula here, then I can ask it the same thing and it will give me this prompt. And now I can use this prompt to create this formula here, right? And basically the difference is that I want to be able to count leads that score equal to or above a five. So I'm just adding in this. It was quite amazing that ChatGPT was able to actually create a formula like this, which maybe to a computer isn't that amazing, but to me was pretty awesome to see. It was, it was really cool to see how that was created so quickly. I was really blown away. Now, one other part of this is being able to, you know, look at for prospects and say, this is how much money you're gonna wanna spend with us. This is how much revenue you can make. Now, I always wanted to make a calculator like this, but the biggest problem was I just, again, didn't have the understanding of Google Sheets to be able to create formulas this complex to then put inside Google Sheets. I didn't wanna learn how to do that, but I always wanted to do something that didn't require any coding to just create a simple calculator. And so what I did was I just told ChatGPT, hey, I need to create this calculator that categorizes the different numbers and based on the answers that are put into this calculator, I want it to compute different outputs, right? And so I did that and it looked very similar to this prompt here and it then produced this output, which basically says that if this dropdown is selected, if it's up to 50% growth per year, then that can change some of the numbers in the output, right? So you have starting revenue goal, right? You have your overall goal, you have the amount you have to spend. All these things are changed based on what is selected here. The amount of channels you're gonna to wanna to invest into and the amounts you're gonna to wanna to spend is put into here. And so again, this computes this formula which you can put then into this section here, right? So you can say, um, okay, if both you know, high touch sales is the model and the growth rate is above 100% per year, then this is the answer, right? So you can compute these things. And then with outbound marketing, search engine marketing, these numbers are another formula which you can also compute, which is about different answers that you could give in the calculator as well, and it will take in conditional statements. And that's a big thing when it comes to using ChatGPT for enhancing your sales team. The reason it's so important is because there's a lot of times when you're managing your sales team uh, for any business that you're operating where there's a lot of different conditions to take into account. And if you don't know how to write formulas like this, your basic Google Sheets don't really cover everything that's needed to accurately manage your team this way. And because of that, you may not be able to actually get as much output from your Google Sheets as you need to grow and scale your business. But as you can see, this prompt, which again, I'll be putting into the description below and you can access right now, it gives you exactly what you need to put in to get this kind of a formula. So this kind of a formula, you can then also modify for your business, but there are a lot of different pieces to this formula and it may just be better to customize your input prompt and then get an output that more accurately matches your sheet. And again, remember, I'm not using any plugins for this Google Sheet. I'm simply going in here and I'm plugging in um, just these formulas from Google Sheets and that's it. There's no other magic involved here other than the magic of ChatGPT being able to create this stuff for you, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I definitely would uh, use these prompts, use these formulas for your business to supercharge your company with AI. Now, if you wanna start using no code as well for this, you can look at this workflow I have with Zapier. Zapier you can start off with on a free plan, although if you're gonna have a multi-step zap like this, you're gonna to wanna to use the paid plan, but you can see the entire workflow that then sends people to the sheet for our team to track. So essentially, an invitee is created in Calendly, which is a tool to create calendar events. Then we send a channel message to my Slack to notify my team that this new meeting has been booked. It then sends a lead to close, which are CRM. It then creates a spreadsheet row in Google Sheets. And with this spreadsheet row created in Google Sheets, then our team goes and scores it. Once our team scores it, then it computes here in the analysis. And so you could do all sorts of cool things with ChatGPT once you kind of start thinking in this way of using it to create different kinds of formulas. So I hope you found this video helpful. I'm gonna be making more content just like this, breaking down ways that you and your innovative business, if you're building a company and you're trying to make a product that has purpose and you're trying to really change the world with the products that you're developing, I hope that these videos can help you achieve those goals. Um, you know, they've certainly been built off a lot of trials and experimentation with my team around growing and scaling our own business. So if you ever wanna talk, if you ever wanna chat, feel free to reach out to us. Also, feel free to follow for more content like this. Like, share, subscribe with a friend you think might find it helpful. Uh, feel free to also go to our resources.twiz.io 
website to subscribe to our newsletter and stay tuned for more content just like this. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great one. Bye.